Draw Simple Easy. Well, hello there, guys and girls. Today we're going to be drawing a quick, simple, easy picture of Blackbeard from One Piece, also known, I think, as Marshall D. Teach. So go ahead and in the middle top part of your page, get a fairly small circle going. Just going to go around like this. This is going to be the top part of Marshall's head or teacher's head, I should call him. Let's just say Blackbeard. But we're going to go this entire circle height uh, again, down to around about here. And that's going to be, if you imagine, circle number two. And then we're going to go a little bit lower again. This circle height about a little bit less in fact, but around about here. And the reason why we've got such a long space that we're working in is that his head is this really weird scoop shape. So from the outside edge of this circle, what I'm going to do is just create a kind of scoop shape that comes out and around like this. And then I'm going to do the same on this side like so. And then I'm just going to drop a line that kind of curves all the way around and down, all the way around and back up. And then I'm going to recreate this line by extending this piece a little bit longer and just do that one more time around here. And what this big kind of weird smiling bar is going to be is his black actual beard. And then we get to map the rest of the face inside. So if we start off with his eyes, they're going to be circles to begin with. And they're going to be in this bottom section of this circle, right where the edges meet up. And inside here, I'm just going to put a little circle. One, two for his eyes. And then I'm going to turn that into some actual aggressive brow line by cutting off the top of the circle. Just getting an arrow point eyebrow that goes down here. Same thing on this side, big arrow point eyebrow that goes in there. And then I'm just going to squeeze up the eyes at the bottom by flattening out the bottom of those circles and drawing some little dots in for his eyes. Great. So where we've got this bottom of this circle, this whole meeting point here, just below is where we're going to fit in his nose just by doing a downward little point or just a really flattened out letter V. We can widen that out and make that his nostrils just scooping on either side and then just bump it up as a lump just to show the weird shapes of his face like so. So we've got two little bumps coming up there and then a couple brow lines just to show expression in there. Now that we've got the top part of his head mapped out just above this eyebrow line. So this is about halfway through our original circle here. I'm just going to create a curve up here which will just be this kind of zone of bandana that he's got going on that he wears under his captain's hat. I'm just going to crisscross a couple of lines there to show it's all wrapped around. And then this main space here, this main circle of area is going to be his great big uh, laughing mouth. I was going to say a smile, but that sounds too nice. So we're going to just start from around about here, basically right up just below this nose line. I'm just going to curve down and up around so I come back up to a similar height around about here. And then I'm going to come down and actually take up most of this circle space around here. I'm going to use this circle as a bit of a guide now just to get a great big curve all the way down, round and up again. Then I'm going to get another curve, just copying this height. That's going to map out the top teeth and another similar thing, a smaller curve that's going to map out the bottom teeth round about here. Let's just make sure this is all nice and in focus. And he's got a big gap in the middle, I know that. And then there's one tooth on its own here, another gap, and then the rest of his teeth. And then he's got all his teeth around this side. So we're just going to draw each of them in with a few lines. And in the bottom, it's a similar thing. There's one here, then there's a gap, and a couple more. And then a couple more up this side as well. I'm going to get a circle just behind everything, just to indicate his tongue. And then we're just going to have a few lines that connect the edges of the cheeks up to the nose like so just arcing out there and there we're gonna have just a load of little lines just to be his mustache right over the top and then we're gonna have a line that just sits right around about here for his top lip and another line is gonna curve round and out and be his bottom lip as well and bring that to curve all the way back up and in great one more line are just going to kind of start from here and that's just going to be a line that goes up this side and then down the side of the face. Here as well, just kind of down like that. And then his beard is just going to be a zigzag scraggle that follows this guiding line that we've drawn in all the way up and around. 
and then lots of big kind of scraggly points just to show the beard as it's coming down off of his chin like so get all these scraggly zigzag points in and this is essentially the main parts of his face the rest of him some very big simple shapes so to get his hat going again i'm just going to imagine a nice big circle halo something like this that follows that original circle we've drawn but where the bandana sort of comes and meets in the head i'm just going to scoop out up here same thing over here and i'm going to take these points which just go a little bit further out really than the edge of his beard on either side and i'm going to bring them back in and that's going to meet the circle and that's going to be the shape of his black captain's hat so the rest of the body needs to get filled in let's drop a center line all the way down here just get a couple lines off of the eyes and cheek there and we're just going to map out the rest of his body which is really really big so to start off he's got the whole crossed arms set up i'm going to go from about the top of his smile this cheek line i'm going to come down and around like this like this really wide really big and i'm just going to create a scooping curve around about here same around about here for the main part of his body and what we can do is we can just imagine a couple guidelines to start off with let's start around about this point here just going to get not an overly large circle in on each of these edges just to help map roughly where the shoulders might be and then for crossed arms i'm going to just go down on this circle and i'm going to go up towards the bottom of the other circle and then on this side from the middle of the circle i'm going to do a very similar thing I'm going to go down from this circle and up towards the bottom of that circle and now i'm just going to draw some circles in where we've got these joints these will help me understand where the elbow is and then i'm just going to join up a quick line here quick line there build this all together this is just going to make up his forearms and the same on this side as well obviously we'll decide which one goes on top i think the arm on our left is going to go on top so seeing as this is up and out we can drop off a hand shape down there and this one as well is just going to be behind but we'll tuck a hand shape somewhere inside there and now that we've got this main zone in we can map everything to it so i'm going to go from these shoulder lines and just get some collarbone lines that come down around about here like this it's got a big fat barrel chest it's not particularly defined for a pirate but he has got his shirt on which kind of comes out and around like this and it tucks around about here right down into this hand zone and the inside of his shirt does a similar thing on this side just tucks down into there and then it's got its own collar so around about this top point i'm just going to go up and down and then bring this back in to meet the point same over here up and down back in just like so and then we've got all sorts of bits and sleeves going on the inside so where i'm following this arm line that we've drawn in i'm just going to actually make it all sorts of tucked material by just doing these simple in and out lines yours doesn't have to look exactly the same just roughly is fine big crease up and then a big bar right on the fold here but we're going to put in like so that'll be the rolled up sleeves of his shirt here and then the arm just going up and we're not going to worry too much about the shirt on the outside because there's more layers that he's wearing and a similar thing here if you imagine a bar round about here just where the arm bends in give it a couple notches to show its material and then again lots of little quick lines just to show we've got folded shirt material there as well excellent now as the shirt drops down about here on either side the rest of his stomach is kind of just marked in as being very hairy it just has all these hairy lines so i'm just doing a load of dashes in at the moment just to show he's got a very hairy chest this guy then a couple lines up to show kind of neck and shoulder area just like this just play around a bit and then we need to get his jacket on top so if you imagine around about his hair where we've got this whole natural curve of his shoulders we're going to get another curve that starts from right up here just imagine a line that's curving around the top here curving around the top here like this that's going to be the collar of his massive captain's coat so around about 
say this point on the shoulders, it's going to just go up and then down like this. Just tuck that in. And same about here, we're just going to go up to show the edge of it. Down like this again. Tuck that all back in. And this line will then be the area of trim for the rest of the coat. So this comes down about here over the arm, but then it just kind of comes off the side like so just floats off down there same on this side it kind of comes down over the arm a little bit otherwise floats off over to the right and drops off and then the rest of this shoulder space if we just imagine a kind of a big circle over here not quite a perfect circular shape more like a bulge that just drops off but imagine a circle can be fit right there and a similar thing over here I'm just going to do this big extra circle shape bulge these are going to be the sort of uh, shoulder epaulets, I think they are. Um, the kind of showy bits on the edge of the coat, basically. So they are shaped by being a fairly flattened circle at the top. So we're gonna fit a circle space in there and give it a border. So we're gonna do two lines in there. Very similar on this side, inside of this space, real flattened ellipse, get a bit of border on it. And then all this bottom area of the circle, is just gonna be lots and lots of lines like so. Where it's all sewn in and then we'll do something similar here lots and lots of lines just actually coming off catching the uh, wind a bit out over to the right as well that gets to be very loose and rough we'll fill that in and then with the actual coat itself the arms themselves these sleeves where obviously there's nothing in them so I'm just gonna have all this material hang fairly loose down the side with the sleeves just coming out from under there similar thing here materials just going loose down out on the sides and then the sleeves just coming out like so. So now with the rest of this we just need to clear up a couple of bits. Let's get a border onto this overcoat. So I'm just following this line on the inside and on the inside here and then down on here. This is the yellow border that he has on the jacket and then same on this side. Let's get a nice thick line up there and again where it's got the lip and curve of the jacket it's like this and on this side it will have just a couple of loops to so just draw some great big jacket loops maybe fit in three down the page and over on this side it's just going to have a couple of pegs that would otherwise go through i'm just going to put a few of them really just randomly just dropping them on doesn't matter too much and then now that we're still looking back on the inside of his jacket under the red shirt area we just need to put on a few extra bits and his hair so the hair is little more than just, imagine you're drawing lots of clouds. It's all sorts of bulging mass and it just goes all the way down under behind the jacket like so from the back. Kind of comes up maybe over the hat area. Another bulging mass, really simple just like that. But it gets lost behind the collar of everything else. In fact, let's bring the collar of his shirt a little bit higher and a little bit further out as well, just like that and just like that but otherwise everything's good and all we need to do now is just get in a little bit of the bits he wears so he's got a couple bracelets i don't know if they're poles but we're going to draw them by just drawing lots of circles around his wrist like so same on this side just going to draw a string of circles to disappear behind that arm hopefully that's all still showing in focus good and then I'm going to draw a line that just curves around really from about here, kind of over the collarbone, and then it goes back up here, and then another one down about here doing a very similar thing, curving all the way back up. And this is just going to be some more of his ornament. So I'm going to use this line just to mark in a load of circles, really rough and quick. Each circle is drawn in with a gap. I'm going to come back in and that gap's just going to be much smaller circles or thinner flattened out bits for these beads. This pirate like this bling. And then a really similar thing again in terms of shape, although they might be a different colour. And fairly large circles with a fairly small gap making its way all the way along as his necklace. 
again just going back the other way just filling in the gaps with some smaller shapes yet again lovely so there we have it this is hopefully a quick simple version of Marshall D teach or Blackbeard from one piece I hope you guys have found this useful or at least a good guiding point for getting your own version of the character in Remember, his face is this weird, wide, scooping shape. Uh, his beard is really raggedy, so I might just make it a bit more kind of raggedy instead of out and bushy, just more lank and gross. But that's about it. He's got a great, big, horrible, menacing smile and uh, otherwise quite a hairy fellow. So what I'm going to do is drop into some time lapse and ink this and hopefully you can see which of these building blocks we're using as lines and which ones we're actually rubbing out and I'll see you at the end. And there we have it, a nice, quick, simple, easy picture of Blackbeard. So as the name suggests, a lot of this is going to be in black. When I scan this in, the hat, the main part of his over jacket will all be in black. His beard's obviously going to be in black. The uh, shirt that he wears is going to be in red. And all of this trim and these bits are all going to be in yellow or gold. And he's got a very dark skin tone to his complexion. These beads might be in green and these might be purple and yellow, I think, with white pearls around the edge. But those are the main consistent bits. So I'm going to go ahead and probably manually colour in the rest of his beard in black. But let me say a great big thank you to all you people at home for watching along. I hope you found this useful and had a go. If you have, you can submit your artwork on my Facebook page. Link below and I'll upload it for everybody to see if I like what you guys have got going on. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up, a like, come subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, you can always support what we've got going on on my Patreon page where you get lots of art rewards and every little bit really helps this channel kind of continue what we've got going on. Take care, guys. Have a great week.